Hello and welcome to the video lecture uh, about uh, administration definitions, data administration and database administration. So uh, as I said in the introductory uh, video lecture that data administration is a high level function, uh, could actually be a board, uh, board of directors level function uh, because this person, this data administrator, is responsible for the overall management of the data resources in an organization. Um, so that's huge. That's an enormous responsibility. Um, another enormous responsibility is the database administrator. Uh, but the database administrator is a technical function, uh, not a board level function. Um, this person is responsible for physical databases, uh, the design, uh, technical issues, uh, security, uh, performance, backup and recovery, uh, more of the the day-to-day the -day nitty-gritty operation of the database. Um, so when we talk about the data administrator, that high-level or board-level uh, person, we're talking about policies, procedures, standards, uh, we're talking about the person associated with planning, um, the person associated with data conflict uh, resolution, uh, so remember, this, 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 the, the data steward uh, probably uh, is either this person or reports to this person. So we, we go back to previous chapters, we talk about data stewardship and data governance. Uh, this is the data administrator. Um, so any conflicts that come up with who owns what, who has access to what, um, managing the information repository, which we're going to talk about again in a later uh, video lecture um, and the marketing of data administration concepts. So the, the person that has to sell the rest of the organization on say changes for instance. Um, the database administrator, this is the person that analyzes and designs the physical databases. Uh, they, this is the person that makes uh, the final decision on the database management system that's going to be used and other software tools. Uh, this is the person that installs and upgrades the database management system with this person and their team. Uh, the tuning, uh, the improving of uh, performance, uh, man managing security, privacy, uh, and integrity, um, the data backup and recovery. Uh, and what I wanted to do just to end this video lecture is to take a look at what's in uh, the textbook. Uh, this is a really nice... Um, uh, graphic associated with the difference between the data administrator and the database administrator. Um, you see the the life cycle phase associated with databases, right? They go through the planning process, uh, there's an analysis process, uh, there's a physical design process, there's an implementation process, um, then at, after it's implemented there's operations and maintenance and then there's the management of growth and change. And you can see on the, on the right side how the author has uh, indicated which person handles which uh, part of this life cycle. So at the beginning, it's the data administrator. So the data administrator is the person uh, that's handling the, the planning of the database um, and the analysis and the business rules and the requirements and all that kind of good stuff. Once those decisions have already been made, then uh, we're talking about uh, logical and physical uh, database design, um, which is done by the database administrator uh, after that person gets the requirements from the data administrator. Then we've got the database implementation, where uh, we're actually uh, installing uh, the database and whatnot. So, First of all, when you first implement the database, you have to figure out who's going to have access to what. Uh, so that uh, is a, a function performed duly between the data administrator and the database administrator. Uh, the DBA puts in the security controls and actually installs the database management system. Um, and then uh, user training is handled uh, co-jointly, again, by the data administrator and the database administrator. Uh, the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance 
uh, is associated with the database administrator. And then when we get into uh, end user support uh, and then the growth and change uh, phase, uh, that's really something that the data administrator does with the database administrator on a daily basis. And that ends uh, my video lecture on uh, the difference uh, between data administrators and database administrators and their functions.